of strings. This is Luke. This is Louisa, and they'll be accompanying me tonight. Thank you so much for coming. This is so bloody cool. And how cool is that? So nice. Um, feel so lucky to be here. Um, and with these two as well, we've been rehearsing a fair bit. Um, that song I just played, Antigone, it's got no meaning at all, but I love it. All of my songs have meaning except for that one. Um, and this next song, this is called Revelo. Um, and Revelo in American Indian means little wolf. Um, and the person that I wrote this about kind of was a bit like a little wolf in the way that they wanted to be part of the pack and they wanted to be loved, but they were just an innocent little person. And it's all the good memories that I had with them.
Thank you. So I'm 20 years old and I finished school a couple years ago, a few years ago, and um, I did love Year 12, but I also found it very stressful, as I'm sure many of us did. Um, and I really felt like I needed to get away. I feel like I'm the kind of person where I put a lot of energy into everything. And I did that um, that year. And I really felt the need that I needed to get away and just relax, regenerate. I, sorry my friends, I actually disappeared. And I think some of you remember that for about three months, I just regenerated the batteries. But I came back and I was fun, I was. Um, so I'll probably do it again so that I'm extra fun. Um, no, why not again. Um, but yeah, so I wrote this song, Dusty Road, and it's about me getting away um, to the beach and specifically um, this one spot where there is a dusty road just around the corner of my beach house. So here's Dusty Road. dusty road where I won't see my friends or my foes for a while cause I ain't need to be alone can't you see that I just need to be free and be one with the sand and then say just let me be Toes wriggle in the sand, the sun dances on my face And I laugh to myself because I realize I'm part of the human race Just let me be in the breeze and I smile cause I am not alone and 
I sip my coffee cause it helps me breathe And I start to see all the colours I could be I turn the other cheek and I'm starting to feel I am free Just let me be this guitar. If any of you follow me on Instagram, you'd see that I am always playing this one. It's very exciting. Um, this song that I'm about to play, in lockdown, I feel like everyone thought, oh, musicians are fine. They just get to stay home and write the whole time. No, that didn't happen. It was hard. I think the first week, maybe it was good. And then there was nothing coming at all. And it took a while and finally I did write a song and it was about missing people. Um, and I feel like everyone can relate to the fact that at night time that's when you probably miss people the most or that's when you, you're feeling the most fragile. So I wrote this song about that exact feeling when you're laying in bed and that's when you're missing someone the most.
I'm going to speed it up a little bit. This is a Spanish medley, and I played a version of this song um, the first time I ever was really on the stage, and it was surreal. And I think that was the moment where I thought, yep, yeah, this is who I am. I want to be on a stage playing in front of stacks of people. And it feels quite natural to me. Before, I had to do a little thing where I had to go, hi, I'm Steph Strings, you're watching Chapel Off Chapel Sessions. I couldn't even say it just then because I was getting filmed, and me getting filmed, I couldn't do it and I was shaking. But me sitting here just feels like I'm just in my living room and you guys happen to be here. Pretty big living room, pretty nice living room. But um, yeah, so playing this song um, really made me feel like this is what I want to do. And I'm doing it, and I love it. <laughs>
Thank you. So I wrote in a journal from April 2017 to about three months ago, every single day, well, basically every single day. And um, I always love reading back and seeing what I've done. It's usually, um, mum made seven teas today, um, my sister and I played this game and that was it. But then there are some days where it's actually quite sad reading about certain journal entries that I've done with different things that happened, or it's really happy, some journal entries. Um, and this song that I wrote is called Catacombs, and um, in France, in Paris, there are the catacombs, which are, have all those skulls that are underground, and I feel like sometimes when I read my old journal entries, it's almost like I'm looking at all these old skeletons, memories and people, people that I no longer see, or people that I wish I had never associated with or thoughts that I wish I never had. And that's all part of being human, I guess. Um, and what's cool is that I can look back and see those pages and see the growth. Um, so this is called Catacombs and it's kind of, I guess a song about rumination and wishing that I didn't do certain things.
Thank you. We'll see you all after the interval. So one of my favourite artists is um, Kim Churchill. I don't know if you guys know him. Yeah, he's great. I love him. He's very, very good. And I was actually um, lucky enough to see him play live um, in January. And I actually supported him as well, which I'm so thankful for. Um, and my family came and watched him. And there was this one song that he played, Don't Know How to Keep Loving You. And he did a Triple J, like a version cover of that song. It's originally by Julia Jacqueline. And I remember watching it and thinking it was surreal and I was thinking maybe I'm the only one that's feeling how great this song is and then later my mum and my sister um, Joanne and Zoe they were listening to it on and on and on and it just gets stuck in your head and it's kind of it's haunting but it's beautiful and it's calming but then at the same time it's adrenaline rushing and that's why I thought I should play it today.
wanna want you. I wanna stay here like this, and I wanna feel it all every time that we kiss. And I want your mother to stay friends with my eye. I want this feeling to pass with time. But you know my body now, and I know yours. We put so many things between these walls. Every gift you buy me, I know what's inside. What do I do now? There's nothing left to find. Don't know how to keep loving you Now that I know you so well Don't know how to keep loving you Now that I know you so well Don't know how to keep loving you Now that I know you so well Don't know how to keep loving you Maybe I'll clean up Maybe I'll work on my skin I could scrub until I was red hot Weak and thin Too tired to run away What do I do now? There's nothing left to say don't know how to keep loving you Now that I know you so well Don't know how to keep loving you Now that I know you so well Don't know how to keep loving you Now that I know you so well I just gotta keep loving you Is it the darkness or is it the light? Should I be waking up or finding a place to sleep tonight? Who will I be now that you're no longer there next to me? Don't know how to keep loving you. Now that I know you so well, don't know how to keep loving you. Now that I know you so well, I don't know how to keep loving you. Now that I know you so well, I just want to keep loving you. Don't know how to keep loving you. Now that I know you. Now that I know so well, don't know how to keep it. Don't know how to keep it.
last one for tonight, guys. Thank you so much for being here. It's been really, really cool. Um, this next song's about a horse riding a horse. I thought I'd end on a happy note. This is called Wally. It's about the first time I ever rode on a horse and it was very exciting because um, I'd never even seen a horse before. Up that close, I mean. <laughs> I've obviously been practicing my guitar and not my intros for the songs, as you can probably tell. Because <laughs> before, when we were upstairs in the green room, Luke said, you're actually really good at talking. Like, they're really good. And I thought, no, I'm not. <laughs> All right. not play San Remo, could I? <laughs> Many of you in the, this audience have been to San Remo before. And um, does everyone know where it is? Just before Phillip Island, great place. And most of my fondest memories come from there. Um, and I've been basically kind of living there for the last two months and it's been so much fun, just relaxing, doing nothing really. 
Um, and yeah, I just think that's just my place, I guess, my sole place, I'd say. Um, and my families too, and my friends in the way of our memories. Um, and yeah, it's just brought many people together. Here's San Remo.
Thank you so much. This is Luke Feathers. This is Louisa McKee. I'm Steph Strings. Thanks for having me. I'll be sticking around at the bar if you want to come up and chat. Thank you so much. Thank you, Chapel. Thank you, Joe. Thank you, Ibrahim. Kevin, Zach, everybody. Thanks, guys.